my gosh. There we go. That was done. Uh, oh, crap. That wasn't helping for us. He is now on fire. Severe. Well, as Halloween is coming up, I was thinking a fairly spooky thing to do is play the Vampire FV5. Uh, vampires are the well known and loved bloodsuckers around this time of year. And this one is in the British Tech Tree 8.0. You can research it at any time of the year, not just Halloween. It just fits right now. Let's hop right in. So now, normally in air battles, I would say that majority of the time, I know it's an up tier because they're afterburners. And I don't see any afterburners, so this would be good. Although, that javelin is a bit higher. The Vampire is a speed-reliant aircraft, so small form factor, just there to gain speed quickly and efficiently. Oh, there's, yep, there's some afterburners. We're at 240, so I'm just going to lift off the floor, and I will see you guys when I get close to the conflict. So now that we're getting fairly close to the battlefield, I'm looking for probably the biggest threat to me. And yes, there is, a, there is an F-86 over here, but he dragged three of my teammates, so I'm not very interested in that. Aim 9B, that is <laughs> scary. Uh, who was firing those? F-3H, this guy. Rear aspects, I believe, so it's not going to be a big issue. Especially since we're not an afterburning engine. He is a little bit slow on the speed. Uh, do you think this F-86 could use our help? In... Relief of life? I think so. I'm sorry, Jerky, and uh interesting name. Interesting name. I'm a fan of the what's it? I think just regular like steak jerky and stuff like that. Other jerky's kinda weird. Not going to lie. Oh crap. That is not ideal. I'm going to let him try and... Oh! Crap, we're in the thick of it now. Oh, we lost it. Oh, we lost the train. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think I hear a guy on my six. That's not ideal. Okay. Oh my gosh, there we go, that guy's done. Okay, this guy, is he turning on? Because if he's turning off, I'm fine. If he's on, he looks like he turned off, yeah, that's off. Oh, well, War Thunder does a good job at knockout. It's like, you can still see, but you can't tell the info that you normally would. So it's rather, it's rather, like, Fear inducing, I guess, because you need to keep track of everyone on the battlefield. And it's really hard to do. Keep, tr keep track of my six real quick. G91 up ahead. He looks like he's really the only live enemy left. Error seems to be kind of dying at this point. Okay, that G91 just took a hit. Ooh, that's not healthy for him. Uh, oh crap, that wasn't healthy for us. <laughs> I kind of ran through, but we did get the crit. Oh, uh, I think he's on fire. He won't be able to catch up, will he? How's he catching up while he's on fire? Uh, nah, he's not catching up. It's over. For him, at least. For this guy, he seems to have just been shaking guys on it. Okay, F86 coming. 600. Nice, nice, steady. Okay, that guy's dead. Shady Sam, I think I've seen him before. And that's a GG. Put myself on the steady incline and I will see you all in the next one. Oh, okay, that is a ja no scimitar. So a little bit of a up tier. PI yeah, 200 has an afterburn. Yeah. When I first got this vehicle, I thought 12 minutes of fuel was going to be on the short side, but apparently in jet battles, that is way more than enough. So, 
happy about that. I guess kind of just blocks the fuel in this aircraft, really. I don't know. Do we head for the MiG? That F-86? Okay, not a problem anymore. Okay, what is our... Okay, we should be at a height of about 4,600 meters. We're reaching about that right now. Now, that A-40 is going to be a lot us in any scenario. I'm pretty sure we can outrun a couple. Okay, we are at the height we want to be at. That F-9F down there. Okay, F-86 did not kill. Okay, hurt our family meteor pretty bad. Uh, TU-4. Oh, this guy is definitely in a dangerous area for me personally, if he knows how to dive well. Uh, he's going to pull a wide bank to try and then maybe hit this bomber well? I don't really know. Uh, yeah, he's locking that bomber pretty good right now. So he's gonna have two fighters on him. One of which I'm not sure how effective will be. That's me. Oh crap, T4 down. Okay. Well, we need to quit our turning because this thing really sucks at turning. Phew. This guy's gonna come turning. We do have enough speed to keep guns on this guy, which is good. I'm not sure for how long, though. Yeah, he's diving down a little bit. We're gonna activate combat pipes if I can. And deactivate them because we're at the downfall. Oh, that was a hit. Good, good shot, good shot. Oh, he's faster though. And that guy's also faster. I wonder how good that F4 is doing. Uh, looks like he's doing fine, which means I'm gonna crash the party. Hopefully I can without pancaking myself. Where did he go? Okay, aircraft destroyed somehow. I have no idea how I got that guy. Oh, wait. Maybe he, like, crashed in an attempt to get away from my teammate. Okay, I'm very happy I had to lock on this guy beforehand because I could not see a single part of him while I was knocked out. He is going a bit slower than I am, which is very good for me. Yeah, how far are we away from this airfield? Not very far. This is going to be tricky, guys. He's going to try and dip. Which he could do rather well. Uh, except we just could. He is now on fire. So weird. Is that his tail? Yep, he is... Why well, I got a control now. And we were actually pretty far away from this one. That's fine. Two air kills at this point. Now it looks like that A4E. Or, no, that's a friendly fighter. Uh, they should have one, two guys in the air. That guy is the higher of the two. So he might be fairly dangerous. I feel like I kind of like the in-wing in air brakes of the Meteor and the cranbe Cranberry better if you want to watch the Cranberry video. It's right up there. You know, it's pretty good. I liked it a lot. Quick bomber. Oh, that's... Oh, they actually... Look at the sparks that I have. That's pretty nice. Oh, and that squeal. Oh, that's kind of painful. I guess that's more real though. According to my stats right now, 
I've played a total of nine battles. The no, six battles in the Vampire FB5. Leading to a 50% victory rate. And a KD of about three. Already having made 40,000 silver lions and 2,000 RP. And run some. Pilot sight like a beast. Well, besides for that last little clip where I got absolutely destroyed for even threatening to challenge the beast of a bomber, the IL-28, 20 millimeter rear cannons are insane, especially dual ones. Um, I don't know why they give it that. Four 20 millimeter frontals, like it's crazy. More weaponry than on this fighter. But the Vampire FB5 is an incredibly good fighter. Incredibly well themed for the Halloween season, and I would very much recommend it for anyone who can to go grab this jet right now uh, if you have everything preceding it. Otherwise, it will be a fairly long grind. So, good luck to all of you on that. And I need to let my headphones charge, so I really hope you guys all enjoy the video. And if you did, please subscribe, like the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Got a 3D. Peace out.